Uh, Damien Lillard's struggles, well, they've continued. And on Saturday night, we saw more of the same. He made just five of 18 shots, and his scoring and shooting have gotten worse each series through the playoffs. Yesterday, he also confirmed that he's been playing with a separated rib after a Warriors player fell on him game two. But he said the injury is not affecting his game. Shannon, how much of a pass do you give Lillard for this injury? Zero. The greats don't get passes, Skip. Mm. This is the standard which they set. The expectation level is, is that you play, play through all things. And if you're out there, Portland fans, all they see is zero, and they see Lillard on the back. They don't know what it took for him to get there, but they expect him to play at the level in which they're accustomed to mm -hmm. seeing him play, yep. especially what he did the first round, especially given like three or four of those games against the Nuggets. He was all, all outstanding. That's the standard in which he's set. He wants to be thought of as one of these greats. Yep. Well, this is what you have to do. This is you the time. You have to do it yep. in these moments, Skip. So no one cared. Okay, was he hurt when they had a 17-point lead? Mm. Was he hurt when they had an 18-point lead? Mm. Or is he only getting hurt when he's not playing well down the stretch? Mm -hmm. Because if I'm not mistaken, Skip, they got these leads somehow with Dame Lillard out there on the court. Yep. Dame, let me explain something to you, bro. When you're in situations like this and you make the most money, you have to do the most to make sure you're on the court. Now, I know you might not like needles. Uh, you might not, it might make you feel a little queasy. But if it's going to give you the release, yep. the relief that you need yep. to help you go play at the higher level, bro, you got to do that. You worry about the stomach later, get some Imodium, get some kale pectin or something. It'll calm your stomach down. But, bro, you got to play. And you got to play great. That's the only chance you guys have of winning. You must be great. And right now, you're not great. You have as many turnovers as field goals made, and that's not good enough. Nope. So allow me to preface my comments by saying I think Damian Lillard is a really good guy, good man, yes. sure. good for the game, good for the NBA. Yeah. I think he's a really, really good basketball player. But as I always say, this level of the postseason either reveals or exposes your basketball character, and his is getting exposed. Because what do you call him, Dame Dollar? Yes. He's been worth about a dollar in these fourth quarters yes. of these playoff games. And what is it, Dame time, yeah. right? It's time for him clock to stopped. disappear. The clock has stopped yeah, on him. <laughs> yeah. you know? Or it hit, struck 12, and he turned back into a pumpkin, right? Yes. Because... This this is embarrassing to me to even have to watch him and his partner in quote unquote crime CJ because they just disappear. They're getting outclassed and outplayed by the two real superstars who play for the Golden State Warriors. Those two guys are so much mentally tougher than Dame and CJ, but especially Dame because he's the guy who gets all the acclaim. He's he's known as Portland's superstar. He's the guy who said, let me stay in Portland. I don't want to go join a super team. I want to stay home and win it here. Yeah. And right now, I'm sure a lot of Portland fans are saying, I just don't know if we can build around him and win with him when he disappears like this in the biggest playoff moments. Right. Since Damien's rookie season, of all the players who have played in the playoffs, his plus-minus is second worst to DeMar DeRozan's. It's minus 215 for every playoff minute he's played. He's minus 215. That's it's not just, good. it's awful. not good enough. It's, it's just, it's not who you are. So you're getting exposed as little more than a regular season wonder. And I will give him this. He outpoised Russell Westbrook in round number mm -hmm. one. He outplayed him in all the, the right basketball ways, right? right? Mm -hmm. He showed Russ everything that Russ is missing. But in the end, give me Russ. The more valuable player going forward is still Russ. He plays with a almost out of control rage, but he plays with rage. Dame plays with almost too much poise for my taste because once he got up against Denver in games six and seven and then Golden State, He's just playing slow. It's like the snail blazers. You know, that's all he is. Well, Skip, we really, if you go back to game seven against the Nuggets, mm -hmm. he hadn't played well. No. Nope. He had a phenomenal game, game six, 32. Uh, CJ chipped in yep. with 30, and then CJ came back with 37. Dame hadn't played well since game seven against the Nuggets. Whew. And in order for them to get to get back in the city, well, it's over. They're probably getting swept. It's yep. over, Skip. But they had two silver platter opportunities. Therefore, to take it. They're tied going to the fourth quarter mm -hmm. of game two at Golden State, and then they're only down three after they got blown off the map in the third quarter going to the fourth quarter the other night. Skip, they scored 30. The Trailblazers scored 37 points in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. They scored 33 in the second half. 
The last we saw of what could have been the Trailblazers was Seth's shot. He had a three late in the second quarter, and that put them up 18 points. Yes. And it was like the sky fell on Golden State, except it didn't because they said, no, no, watch this. Watch who we are. Maybe what we didn't know at the time is that the damage that that 17-point victory that Golden State pulled out was the psychological damage that it done to Portland. Yeah. We didn't skip because the thing is there's no way and then you get another lead at home. You're going to your building. Mm -hmm. So what it tells now, what go, Portland is thinking, no lead we get is big enough. Mm -hmm. Golden State is saying, no lead you get, we can't come from behind and yep. catch you. That's true. So now there's two things, two mindsets play, and Golden State yep. is stronger than Portland. That is correct. You know, it almost reminds me of tennis. I've covered a lot of mm -hmm. Wimbledon, tennis, right. high stage, big stakes tennis. It's mano a mano, and you one one star will impose his or her will on the other star right. over a long period of time. Because right. these matches can go forever, especially on the men's That's side. Right. They just impose their will. I am psychologically, mentally stronger than you right. are. And it's almost like the, the two guards versus the two guards. It's like a tennis match right. in which the two Golden State guards have imposed their will upon the two Portland guards, yes. and they are shrinking quickly. Right. And it's hard to watch. It's just, it, man, I, I hate it for Damian. I'm not giving him a pass either because no. I just, I don't know. The thing is, Skip, is that if you look at it, they're the two best, they're the second best backcourt yep. in all of basketball. Mm -hmm. But the number one backcourt is so far ahead of the number two, you forget, you for, just forget that. I, and I know sometimes, you know, Dane wants to like, I'm just as good as Steph. Mm, it's hard. It's hard mm, when you look nah. at it now. You nope. can't even say nah. that. Seriously, do you think Damian over time, over, you know, going forward over time, is he better than Russell Westbrook? I just don't think he is. Let's about this thing. They do different things. He, yep. uh, Russ is Styles. asked to do way more because N Nurkic, and, yep. you know, Nurkic is not there. It would have been yep. interesting to see what they would have done had he been it there. It would have been. But I, I think they asked Russ to do more than what they asked Dame to do. Hmm. I don't know. Russell Westbrook is some, he is a terror on the basketball court. And again, he hasn't grown up yet and figured out how to do the little things that make him big thing. Right. Dame is, is all about the little things. He just doesn't have the big things. he get right. He get, yeah. hey, I don't want him to get he swept. Gonna he going to take that painkilling injection. He'll be right. At some uh, point. They play tonight. Yep. Yeah, they'll, he'll be right. He'll yeah. be right. And then if they get the win, he can go back to Oakland, play there again, hometown. I mean, I know that's a stretch at this point. I mean, uh, you know, you we delay, just don't, you, I don't want you him to get stretching. All you do, all you're doing mm -hmm. is delaying the tea time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. That's the future yeah, for this Yeah, it's, it's over. Mm -hmm. You're not winning <sighs> no four. You're not winning no four straight. Mm -mm. It's hard to keep getting swept. You know, it doesn't look good for your resume. Uh, let's talk about a different resume. Kawhi Leonard, is he starting to look Jordan-esque? Who says that? Kendrick Perkins yeah. thinks oh, so. Bring and it out here. For us, he it. is here. <laughs>